We're about to test four of the most viewer requested oil filters in the market. And we're gonna show you the difference between this $20 AM soil and this man oil filter with this amazing bypass valve design. Will the AM soil dethrone the pure later one or will the mole one take the lead? If you wanna know who takes the crown, then stick around. Amsoil has been regarded as the best motor oil I've seen in Project Farm's video, but will it be the best oil filter as well? Let's find out. As in our previous videos in this series, for our first test, we want to measure how restrictive the filter is at operating temperatures. As you can see, this oil does not look like your typical motor oil, and that's because it isn't. You see, motor oil, even new oil, has contaminants in it. So the ISO standard recommends you perform these tests utilizing this specific oil. Why you ask? Well, because this oil is manufactured to extremely strict cleanliness standards and will ensure repeatability. To perform this test, we heated the oil to 104 degrees Fahrenheit in order to simulate the same viscosity of 5W30 and 5W40 motor oil at operating temperatures. To see what filter is more restrictive, we will be taking a look at these gauges right here. The higher the difference in pressure, the more restrictive the filter. For our first contender, we have the Amsoil with a whopping price of $19.55. Claiming to remove 99% of particulates above 20 microns and protect your engine for 15,000 miles. The Amsoil comes in with a differential pressure of 1.3 psi at 3 gallons per minute and as we increase the oil flow to 11 gallons per minute, the differential pressure rises to 12.3 psi. Our next contender is the k &N, with the price of $15.99, claiming to remove 98% of particulates above 30 microns and protect your engine for 20,000 miles. Will it live up to its claims of being the official filter for NASCAR? Let's find out. At 3 gallons per minute, the k &N comes in with 1.4 psi, and as we increase the flow rate to 11 GPM, the differential pressure rises to 11.1 psi. For our next contender, we have the MAN filter with a price of $11.48. MAN is extremely secretive. Not only did they barely have any markings on their filter, but we were unable to locate either the mileage or micron ratings. At 3 GPM, the MAN filter comes in with an impressive 1.2 psi, and as we increase the flow rate, it clocks in at only 9.2 psi at 11 gallons per minute. For our last contender and past contestant, we have the Mobile One Extended Performance with a price of $11.44 and claiming to filter up to 99% of particulates above 30 microns and protect your engine for 20,000 miles. The Mobile One takes the lead with an impressive 1.1 psi at 3 gallons per minute and only 8.5 psi at 11 gallons per minute. The Amsoil's filtering media appears to restrict the oil substantially more than the competition. But once again, the Mobile One appears to have outperformed the official filter for NASCAR. As winter approaches and the temperature drops, motor oil becomes extremely viscous. This can cause your oil filter's bypass valve to open and allow unfiltered oil to cycle through the engine. Although this is what's supposed to happen in order to not starve your engine of oil, you want to minimize this as much as possible. This is why you want an oil filter with a lower flow restriction during cold temperatures. To test which filter is the best during cold temperatures, once again, we'll be looking at these gauges right here. The lower the differential pressure, the least restricted the filter is. For this test, we'll be utilizing the ISO test recommended oil, ISO VG460. This oil is so thick that we had to heat it up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit in order to simulate the viscosity of 5W30 oil at 38 degrees Fahrenheit. The Amsoil has a differential pressure of 7.8 psi at 3 GPM and 43.9 psi at 11 GPM. The k &N comes in with 6.5 psi at 3 GPM and 45.9 psi at 11 GPM. The MAN filter has 6.7 psi at 3 gallons per minute and 41.5 at 11 gallons per minute. And the Mobile One once again dominating with only 5.1 psi at 3 GPM and 36.6 psi at 11 gallons per minute. As you can see in this graph, the Mobile One dominated in this test, proving once again to be the least restrictive filter of this bunch. 
Something to note here, like in our previous Fram video, we will be basing our rankings on the exponential portions of the graph, as the linear portions are based on the friction caused by the bypass valve already being open. Okay, 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 enough about flow restriction. What about the most important aspect of an oil filter? Filtering performance. Well, in order to test that, we went ahead and baked several grams of ISO medium test dust to ensure no moisture was present. After weighing 1.1 grams, we pre-mixed it into a beaker of aeroshell oil and homogenized the mixture with an ultrasonic bath. After placing four batches of this mixture for a total of 4.4 grams of test dust on each filter, we collected the samples through this valve, packaged them up, and sent them to the oil analysis laboratory. Before we go over the results, let's go ahead and perform our filter capacity test. To perform this, we actually continued introducing contaminants until each of the filter's initial differential pressure increased by 8 psi. The Amsoil had a capacity of just 4.4 grams. Surprisingly, the k &N only had a capacity of 4.51 grams. The Moa 1 was able to gather 5.61 grams and the winner is the MAN filter, with an impressive capacity of 6.6 .6 grams. In our videos and in the oil filter industry, you often hear the term micron size. But what exactly does it mean? Well, it's just a unit of measurement. In other words, there are 1 million microns in 1 meter. Or to put it in freedom units, there are about 300,000 microns in 1 foot. So you can really grasp how small a micron is? A grain of table salt measures about 120 microns, and a strand of human hair is approximately 70 microns in diameter. At around 40 microns, things start becoming invisible to our eyes. A white blood cell is about 25 microns in diameter, much smaller than what we can see. The AMSOIL claims to filter 99% above 20 microns. The lab results are in, and as our previous videos, the particle measurements are divided into three separate ranges. Particles between 21 and 38 microns, particles between 38 and 70 microns, and particles larger than 70 microns. Amazingly, the AMSOIL only has 6.9 particles between 21 and 38 microns zero particles between 38 and 70 microns, and 0.1 particles above 70 microns. The k &N came in with 264.5, 0 0.6, and 0 0.1. The MAN filter was impressive with 153.5, 0 0.9, and 0 0.1. The mobile one was close behind with 252.9, 22.5, and 1.1 particles per milliliter. Now let's take a look inside these filters to see their differences. The Amsoil has a silicone drain back valve, synthetic media with a stitch joint, and a very thick outer casing. Comparing it to our previous video's Fram Endurance, it looks eerily similar. The k &N has a good all around construction, with a silicone drain back valve, a synthetic blend media, and its signature welded nut for easier removal. Please don't use it to install your filter. The MAN filter features a silicone drain back valve, a synthetic media, but don't let the lack of marking fool you. As you can see, the MAN filter has a unique bypass valve design, and unlike all the others we've seen on this channel. Instead of it being at the bottom, their engineers assign it to be at the base of the filter. Now why would they do this, and why is this the superior design? When an oil filter hasn't been changed and clogs up or the oil is too thick and viscous because it's cold outside, the differential pressure between the inlet and the outlet is too great, causing the bypass valve to open. In the traditional design, the unfiltered oil passes through the dirty media before it can reach the bypass valve. This can cause unwanted contaminants to be picked up and cycled throughout the engine. The MAN's bypass valve, on the other hand, moves the mechanism to the base of the filter. So once the pressure becomes too high, the unfiltered oil opens the valve and goes straight back into the engine, thus avoiding picking up extra contaminants leading to cleaner oil. And lastly, the Mobile One features a silicone drain back valve, synthetic media, a metal crank joint, and an integrated bypass valve. In comparison, the Amsoil, although thicker, has way less filter pleats than the rest, which explains why it's struggling the resistance to flow test. The K&N and the Amsoil have the standard bypass valve design, 
while the mobile one has an integrated one and the man has the affirmation unique design. Like always, we're not sponsored by any of these companies. So if you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing or even buying us a beer in the link down below. And here are the final results for our ongoing All Filter Showdown series. As you can see, the Amsoil has taken the filtering performance lead from the Fram Endurance, but the Pure Later Boss still tops the chart overall. So in conclusion, is the Amsoil worth the price? Well, it really outperformed all the filters we've tested to date in terms of filtration. But the flow restriction and capacity are areas where it lacks for the price. Make sure to go check out the previous episodes in this series to see how others stack up. As always, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one. I think you did great not moving your hands. The commenters from the previous video will be happy.